Greetings and welcome everyone. It's All You Can Geek Movie Cast, episode 624. I'm your host, Jim Gass, joined by Mike Sneedy. What's up? Corey Feinside. Woohoo! And Tony Korkanakis. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, welcome, guys. Welcome, listeners and viewers, to the Movie Cast live streaming on Twitch starting Tuesday nights, usually at 8 o'clock. We're at 8 30 now. Gotta start over. For you guys, we are fixing the audio because I didn't like Nobody it. Nobody knew anything. Yeah. Hey, we're fixing it. So. No complaints. Uh, YouTube the following day. So if you uh, are not able to watch us live, I would suggest going to the YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button because it gets posted the following day. You get notified for it. And um, smash that like button. Leave a comment for us. We'll see you guys on there. All right. Let's kick off this movie cast, guys, with what we've been up to. Um, trying to, going to try to, it's almost like we haven't done this yet. Wipe it up. Uh, Corey, stop talking about it, dude. Corey. <laughs> Just stop talking about it. I know. Corey. Did you watch anything? <laughs> uh, I just followed up with some anime. Caught up with, you know, Chainsaw Man and what? Like, I actually, when I go to the gym, I on the elliptical, I watch all my anime there. Yeah. So I, so it's because it's like twenty minutes, like three episodes. I'm good. Yeah. All right. Sorry. So, um, that's cool. Uh, and then Tony, you didn't? Did you watch the same like some couple animes? You guys went to you went to PAX game, the board game convention. PAX, yeah, we went to PAX, uh, PAX unplugged. Yes, uh, weekend. So I when I got back Sunday night, I only had time to between then and now, I only got time to watch some weekly anime: Gundam, Chainsaw Man, Spy X Family, whatever. Twenty minutes episode. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're fun. Either you're watching them or you're not watching them. You know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm watching uh, Wednesday on netflix i finished the second episode and i have to say that um they netflix has done such a great job of mixing like the old well are not the old old but the mid 90s adams family with um with this new style adams family so it's, it's a little darker uh it's a little more violent definitely more violent there's murder in it uh and there's you know some gore a little bit of a little bit of it but it's not over the top at all it's it's okay and uh, but it still has the funny, quirky Adams family thing where they're just like they're kind of weird people, you know, in the in the in the regular world. Yeah. Um, it just so happens Wednesday goes to a weird school now with like werewolves and vampires and stuff. Um, but it's all part of the main world that they don't even know about. They just call them freaks in the main world. Um, but uh, yeah, so you have this weird dynamic in the show, and um, it's it's really well done and. Uh, I'm I'm quite quite enjoying. Like I said, I watched two episodes. They're an hour. They're like four, fifty minute long episodes. So you, you know they they got content. That's it's chunky. Not, they're not a quick. They're not a quick view. Um, and like I said, Tim Burton is. I checked it. Executive producer, uh, and you can see his styling still touched on this. Like it's like okay, he was definitely. Oh, it seems like his fingerprints are all yeah. over it. It's this just this the visual style and the way that the music plays while they're like doing the camera shots. It's almost like he directed this. I'm like this is like that director really respected what tim Burton did. yeah yeah um mm-hmm. he did a great job with it so uh the whole season's out right it's not yeah like you can watch it yeah okay. it's netflix so you just go oh, ahead and sure. binge it it's yeah. fun um but the biggest thing i watched this week and i love 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 this 80s movie uh willow that's right willow came uh back out on disney plus the sequel to that movie and uh man talk about nostalgia hit uh it's like they somehow managed to capture the new uh like the capture the old willow that i loved uh including obviously the actor who's who's back in this um and you know and still bring it into this new age for new fans to enjoy it so they have you know like the way that the kids are they they have you know um the way the kids not the kids they they're like 20 18 20 year olds you know what i mean they're just but they're like newer like they kind of make fun of the old ways kind of thing. So, uh, mm-hmm. you know, that kind of stuff. So um, this universe, there's still no really magic. I guess that failed out. And, uh, you know, so it's it's interesting um, to to re, to retread this uh, kind of universe that has magic in it. Um, and Willow is a sorcerer. Uh, but he's not, you know, he's it's it kind of, it's amazing to watch. Like, I'm mean, quite enjoying this. First two episodes came out and I really, really liked it. Really recommend it if you want to go check it out. Um, I brought back not just Willow himself, but other characters. So they too. brought back the main uh, character who played Sorsha um, mm-hmm. from the um, movie. And she is uh, excellent, does a great job as the queen, the standing queen um, for Elora Dannon, who is missing in the show. Um, not truly missing, as we find out, but she's missing. 
um, and they're trying to keep her safe, essentially. So you've, we've heard mention of Mad Mortigan, you know, uh, Val mm. Kilmer's character, uh, going to try to find this legendary armor and miss, going missing. I don't know his mystery yet, but I'm interested to see where this goes. Um, so quite exciting. This is a weekly show, right? Yes, this is weekly. This is Disney Plus style. So uh, I watched. They they launched it with the first two. I'll see. Season, mm -hmm. I'll see episode three tomorrow. So, uh, Mike, nice. Mike, what have you been watching? Really, just watched about half of Home Alone. Right, right, well, right. It is that time of year. Yes. Oh, and that reminds me, folks. Uh, starting on December twentieth. Uh, we will do a little holiday special for you guys. We will go over our favorite holiday movies of all time. Uh, and like just not a list, but like talk about what we like to watch and uh, t shows as well if you have those. Um, it's been a while since we've talked about it. So I thought we've been doing this for like – how long have we been doing this podcast? 12 years? <laughs> 10 years? Um, okay. I think it's been probably at least five probably. or six before we've done – since we've done something like this. So we, I thought we'd go back and, and yeah. talk about it. Uh, nice. So yeah, bring it back. December 20th, folks. So join us live here on Twitch and you can have the conversations with us as well. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. We, we, we will chat with you guys. One's better. Time. One or two, Mike. Home Alone. One. Okay. I don't count anything after one or two, so <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, Mike, no, no, Mike no, I gotta, no, I gotta say really. two. I gotta say two myself. I don't know why. I just love two so much. Like, I just love it that really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think, I think I saw two first as a kid just because my age, but I don't know. One is just, you know, Back to basics is not like I, I don't know. There's just something a little touristy about too to me. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get into some movie news, guys. Um, Wednesday, as I mentioned earlier in my intro, watching it uh, is is doing extremely well. Uh, it is the third most watched, um, most popular show, English show on Netflix of all time, English language yeah. of all time at this point. Uh, so only behind Stranger Things and the Dahmer Monster, right? I think. The, yeah, document, so, they're semi -dominant. Yeah, now Squid Game obviously is still the head honcho with, they, you know, said English show on this one uh, uh, yeah, as, as yep. the caveat. But uh, yeah, so viewership up massively on this, but not even just viewership, the amount of time on this show that's being spent and watched hours wise. Um, it's impressive. Well, yeah, that's how they're that's aging it, right? These days. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, that's so that's the twenty-eight doing. days. I think uh, yeah. I posted this on Discord, Tony. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, and they still have what a couple weeks or something? A couple weeks. Yeah, this is the first twenty-eight days. So, uh, Wednesday can only go up from here. Yeah. yeah. So it'll it'll impressive. definitely it'll definitely be at least number two. I think it's still on pace for uh, outpacing uh, Stranger Things season four. Which yeah. is impressive as hell, yeah. uh, but I think you know this just goes to show that there is an untapped market that this series you know kind of caters to, and I would say that's the you know the the tween teen audience that mm -hmm. you know, isn't really I, I think being served uh, by a lot of the streaming platforms and stuff like that. So yeah, no, I think uh, that, yeah, that's it. I mean, there apparently is... the one dance went viral on TikTok or something like that. I did. I, I haven't. Yeah, yeah, I haven't yeah, seen I, that yet. That's but, uh... that's really the only footage of this that I've seen is at least the start of that because I get bored yeah. with it after a little while. But the start of that dance scene is the only part of this that I've seen because it. it's been shared everywhere. Oh, got it. I've not seen any of it. Oh, I, I, I saw some. <laughs> I saw some clips of it. So yeah, but uh, all right, uh, let's move into. Let's go into DC, guys. Um, so always fun. Well, we do. We listen. This is a gamer podcast kind of thing. We still love our games, uh, but we do. We are comic book fans, nerds. Uh, we do like to talk about DC and Marvel, no matter how good they're good or bad they are doing. Um, and so we have to talk about DC this week. So okay. it's been it's been reported, Black Adam is going to lose about a hundred million dollars at this point. Maybe this is what they're putting on the records of. Uh, so it's going to close around six hundred million. Um, oh no, I'm sorry. It's not gonna close around that. Their break-even point was 600 million, uh, and it won't get to that point, obviously. No. Uh, and so it's gonna lose around 100 million dollars on this thing, and when it's all said and done, in theatrical run. Mm. Um, so I mean, it's it's pretty much dead in theaters. Sure. At this point. Mm -hmm. So, like, my question obviously is, what what's what's the problem here? Is it is it DC's DC fans don't like going to the movies, or is yes. it? <laughs> or is it is it bad movies like again is it just yes. back to bad movies yeah okay it's all of the above yes it's all so of the above anymore is, is it 
divided fans like are we having a problem with dividing division in the, in the whole universe? yeah you do yeah. Like, we've talked about it but like anything that doesn't have any kind of relation to the Snyderverse characters the Snyder fanboys hate absolutely 100 they even shit talk this movie they're like oh if Snyder had done this it'd do way better blah 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 it's all like that oh, yeah. it's, just, it's inviting it's inviting it's just like Sega I mean that's not necessarily true because Joker and Batman did very well well, right, but that, that that expanded that that reached out farther than just um you know the DC, DC fans fans mm -hmm. you know yeah no I mean the, the issue is Joker and Batman are they can only get away with being standalone like they were because they are Joker and Batman you know all well, two most popular DC like, villains and heroes I would say arg right argu now. arguably the most popular like single hero and single villain in comic books like ever and um but you know black adam is basically a villain for a c-tier character in dc so the rock be damned like even though this was a good the rock solo outing apparently um <laughs> he uh you know the, the the character needs to be in a universe now because this is what we're used to with superhero movies now that it matters only if it's like and continuation of a bigger universe yeah, and I mean, that's... since they started and stopped so many times with this universe that that's just not here for black adam at this point but that's point. so that's the thing. no one knows what it is or where it belongs that's the thing like marvel has done a great job of bringing these sub characters with um i i'm trying to think of the best word, best word here with um tempered expectations uh as to what these characters can possibly do like doctor strange leading a movie uh like i would say though um dc has not made good movies like guardians of the galaxy the right. tie-ins didn't matter when that came out because no, was thanos was just you know he, no. was, he had one little spot and nobody part, really knew yeah. what that meant nobody cared what that meant yeah it was just, it was a, just good a good movie, movie. good movie yeah it, it didn't had good characters yeah i don't see characters that you're rooting for in black adam i don't see characters that you care about in black adam that was the problem with black adam is i told you guys it when i was talking about that movie it was very hard to root for him uh it was he's, he's not a likable character he's i mean well, right, he's, a he's a villain he's a villain well I, 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 I everything doesn't need to be the same thing i'll, I'll push back that a, a little again if you look at you know like is the Joker in you know Arthur Fleck a character you want to root it's a, for? It's not a really. Not, I'm not talking like it's a character that you can relate to, and that you can understand in some fashion, and that's why it's he's such a great villain, and yeah, that's I, why you you want to, you want to see what he's going to do next, because there's there's a I little Joker in everybody, <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, but like Black right, Adam's, like, 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 society. It's you like, can't okay. relate to Black Adam. Like, who do you? What is there to relate to? I mean, <laughs> I, I I don't know, but apparently there's there's stuff in the movie, but I haven't watched but it. That just yet. Goes, <laughs> this goes back to my argument. Whenever you talk about DC and and stuff like that, the, the stuff that DC does well is like the characters that are are bigger than life. They're like gods slash demigods and stuff like that, and that's fine and all when you want to do like the big team ups and stuff like that, like. You know, I love the Justice League um, animated cartoon. Like, that's one of my favorite things of all time. You know, because it continues, it, even aside, taken out of context of the continuation of the Batman animated series universe, mm. like, it's just fun and exciting to watch those characters because they're all hugely powerful on their own. And, you know, it, it's figuring out how they defeat these villains, groups of villains, et cetera, and stuff like that. But it does, it just doesn't translate well to a, a movie format because uh, again okay it's like black adam why the fuck would i care about him? it's like okay so you're some v villain that was like wronged and whatever and then now you get woken up in the modern day and uh you have superpowers and what you people are handling you as a hero and you'd be like i'm not a hero but then you're gonna do heroic shit but then you're still gonna kill people it's like it, it's so many mixed signals like what is this movie trying to be like who who is your audience here yeah and i don't know I don't know, you know, especially Shazam. Well, we nobody knows because nobody went to see the movie. Right, exactly. And that, and that, but that's the thing is like, you look at Shazam and I haven't watched it, but I understand it probably skews a little younger, you'd say, right, mm -hmm. Jim? Um, right? Yeah, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. So, I mean, well, it's I, that I, fantasy I, as a kid, you want to be a superhero. Right, and exactly. And I can... think the, the correct way to go with this was to just have it be like some kind of 
continuation of Shazam, like a Shazam 1.5 or something like that. And that's the point. Like, it would have been less confusing for people, too, if they had just done this because there was no tie-ins with Shazam whatsoever except for, like, they had the wizard from Shazam in this and there was no explanation as to why he was there giving his power to this guy and then we know of Shazam from the other movie with no mention. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing going on about that. Right, and this just goes back to another problem that DC Warner Brothers has where they just, they don't have anybody that's a visionary that can, that can look at all their projects at once and be like, okay, uh, Black Adam we got coming out. So how do we tie that with Shazam, which we released two or three years ago or whatever at this point, we're developing a sequel. How do we tie these characters together? Oh, I guess we don't. I guess we, we just fucking don't because yeah. why well, would we do that? Well, What's the let's just it? make sure the rock that gets whatever he wants also. Right, exactly. It's just it's just so stupid. I mean, and... they brought they brought James Gunn in to do this. Right. It's and, not and that's proven problem. that he can do this. I mean, he's great. Don't get me wrong, he's great. But can he control all of this? Can he I mean, control I hope the whole he thing? Can. Yeah. I, I hope he actually can, but... think that's good that he has like a partner in this too to help rein in some of the the creative right. the creative aspect and the yeah. other guys the business aspect and that's that's fine and dandy but again it just comes down to to the budget like they gave this a 200 million dollar budget which is insane that's avengers level of investment off of a non-ensemble cast one dude that's like you know top tier billing i guess well i would reason. say dr fate and hawkman are higher tier characters than black adam even is well i mean i would agree with you but like they're uh, not, not, not even in the trailers really yeah right? not everyone would know they're really there unless they're paying close attention to everything mm-hmm. right and it's just it, again it goes back to the naming too like like i get rock wants to be black adam and i guess you know he wants everybody to associate with him with the black Adam. but like that was just the wrong call to go with naming this movie it just it should have been called like See, you this know, justice. This could have been a versus. Society. This yeah. could have been a versus right. movie. This could have been a versus movie, and it would have worked if they brought in like a uh, justice. Just call it Sh- yeah. Versus, Shazam, yeah. like Shazam versus Black Adam, or Justice Society of America versus Black Adam, or, or something like that. Anything that just would trigger somebody to be like, oh wait, yeah, that's tied in to this or other stuff that I'm going on now. here. Interesting. Because right? like Black Adam just doesn't mean anything to anybody. It would have. It would have helped. It would have helped if you had more character tie-ins then that way but there wasn't anything because they brought in js the jsa and they haven't shown us anything from that whatsoever they just brought them in and they mentioned the jsa like we're supposed to know what this is i don't know anything about that myself as a as a as a like you know a fan like i'm trying to learn this stuff as well because i'm not a big expert on the jsa and i can't tell you what it was after this still yeah so and lastly it just comes back to to dc just doesn't know how to market their non-top tier characters right yeah so like superman batman you're golden whatever it just sells itself at this point right like you don't you don't really need to like, i'd even say wonder woman uh, but 1984 proved me wrong because that movie is apparently so awful that you know nobody showed up to go see that and stuff like that yeah but like any anything beyond that like it's it's aquaman succeeded despite that yeah. surprisingly which yeah. was mind-blowing mm-hmm. uh but you know they're not doing shit for him in his sequel like what the fuck is up going on with that but anybody else this is like they just don't know how to market those characters and it, i would say actually them having their full suite of franchises and ip since the beginning again day one was actually hindrance because they never had to learn how to market the non-big characters in the stark contrast to marvel that was like hey uh we don't have spider-man we don't have x-men um what do we do and it's like well yeah. just there you go here's some solid b-listers and we're gonna make you love them right and i'll stand by the fact i've said it multiple times throughout the years that we've do, done this according to galaxy made people fall in love with a talking raccoon and a tree folk. that is insane that is insane yeah i mean that's it yeah one Absolutely. character that just says group or i am group variations of that yep that's true so all right uh the flash has been moved up a week as well so it's not coming out what's, it's coming what's out. it running from what uh, it got pushed back because of the um, um, week it's uh there's a marvel movie that week and then that, now it's in the transformers range apparently it's in the same yeah, it's like right after transformers yeah. so. uh it was actually moving away from Ooh, what is that weekend there's a marvel movie it's moving from somebody commented the first comment of that was was what they moved away from and i was like, i can't remember what it was exactly um but I don't know. So the Flash uh, needs to use its time travel powers to come out like 
a year ago. Yeah. Really. To re- to re- to to save the universe? No, it's it's basically be relevant. Yeah, to be relevant. I mean, yeah. Ezra Miller, absolute, absolute, they are an absolute mess right now. I mean, it's just, I, I don't want to see anything really with them in it. I just, I don't, I, I just, um, I don't know. Michael Keaton being in this movie, that's awesome. Don't get me wrong. Uh, it's just, I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, it's, yeah, no. it's Indy 5 that's getting released like a, a, around that time. Mm. Oh, Indy 5. Okay. I was moving away from that. So, Okay. All right, then. Uh, let's go into some more news here. What do I have? Um, whoops, there we go. Oh, uh, let's talk some about trailers. some good news. Let's talk about Mandalorian real quick. Season 3 starting on March uh, 1st. So Mandalorian Season 3 is coming back on Disney+, Plus, uh, which is great news. Oh, by the way, folks, n- did I mention this in the beginning? The subscriptions? I don't remember anymore. Don't forget, the subscription is coming up uh, for their in- price increase. So I have locked myself in for a year. Um, so make sure that you, nice. if you have to renew your subscription to Disney Plus, do that year lock in for seventy nine ninety nine because it's going up in price, and you can't do that again uh, after this inflation. It's it's a bitch. So, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Deborah Ann Wall and Eldon Henson are going to return as Karen Page and Foggy Nelson and Daredevil Born Again. So that is yes. confirmed, and we awesome. get the characters. That's back. awesome news. Yeah. That's very good news. Yeah. 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 Um, like you had to have Foggy for sure. Yeah, yeah, and that character, and that actor, that right. actor. Yeah, yeah. like um, I could totally understand if they had to recast, but it would it would have been so hard. Mm-hmm. To yeah. Just Especially see. yeah, since you brought Charlie Cox back. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I mean it's so nice to have them. I mean, those two characters. I mean, Foggy made uh, help make that show. Like, there's he no did. question. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So he was great. You know? He was a great character. Yeah. And and I will say like the last season of that show, I thought Karen had like such great growth as a character. Yeah, she did. that's she where really it was did. like the that's where I was like annoyed that it got canceled because I'm yeah. like, there's so much more to explore here now. Finally, mm-hmm. and um, I mean, I liked her in season one, but I felt like season two she was just a, I didn't like her character. Um, but season three she did a great. Was it season three they ended on? Yeah, they did a great job with yeah. her, and I'm like. I know this is kind of a reboot, but it's kind of a continuation as well. We're not sure exactly yet what it's mm. going to be, um, but I'm excited to have her back as that character. Um, you know, so I just yeah, it's exciting to have these two guys back, these two characters um, back, these two actors back as them. So, mm-hmm. Everyone is here. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, let's go to trailers, guys. There were three big trailers launched last week, right after the podcast ended. Uh, it was so I- weird, like because I was recording that day because they do we to fill it, and it was just like. Trailer, trailer, trailer. I was like, what the yeah. fuck is going on? I just let everybody like, I, I want my trailer out. I like, want my trailer out. How I did, want my trailer out. How did Nick post a trailer for me that I'm like, I missed? How did I miss the <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy trailer? I missed it. I'm like, I'm I'm, I'm watching Indy 5. I'm watching Transformers. And I'm like, he's like, did you see this one? I'm like, how did this come out? Yeah. I missed it. So Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 had the trailer. And yeah, Tony and I were in the hotel when it dropped. And I was like, oh, shit. So we like turn on YouTube right away on the TV. Yeah. And... Couldn't find it because it just it just hit YouTube and so, so there's the like algorithm some... wasn't right. <laughs> yeah, and the fan like there's like fan made trailers. I was like, this is footy old footage. This is not the trailer. So it took like a minute for us to find it. Got it. Got it. So what did you guys think of the trailer, Mike? Did you check out the Guardians trailer? Uh, no. Oh, come on, man. It's, this is it. I don't this really care anymore. I don't care anymore. I'm over it's it. The end. It's done. Mm. It's been done for a long time for me. I don't know about that. It's not. I... <laughs> This is it. This is the final movie for this. The, the, these characters. This is it. I felt like that happened already, but okay. In two, two movies? No, you got to. You have to have a trilogy these days. Come on, man. Come on. All right, guys. So, what'd you think of it, Corey? Tony? Oh, it's good. I enjoyed it. I, I, I'm glad we got to see a little Adam Warlock in there. A little bit. Cool. Yep. Little, mm-hmm. little bit of Adam Warlock, which was cool. Uh, yeah, and they're somewhat classic Guardians. Uh, the wardrobe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that mm-hmm. looks really cool. Groot looked a more muted. Groot looked a little mm-hmm. weird. I haven't seen swole. the holiday. Haven't, a little swole. I haven't seen the holiday special yet, so I'm like, is that is that the mm-hmm. look we're getting here in the holiday? That's, yep, that's, that's really the look. look. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I did like that. It seems to be like focused a little bit more on the past, like Rock, Rock Rocket and his past. A little yeah, bit. Mm-hmm. I have I, a I like fe- okay. I got a feeling that is it Rocket that's gonna go. Who's dying in this movie? Because I think at least two. I think two of the Guardians are dying in this movie. Yeah, I mean, who knows? It's it's gonna be. I mean, you could just tell by the 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 trailer. It's a bit. 
don't, I don't want to say necessarily somber, but like it, it does seem like things are going to significantly ahead here. affect the character. Right. I think Drax is. I think Drax. And I, think I think Drax Rocket. definitely goes. I think Rocket, uh, Drax yeah. definitely goes. I think Batista is probably is done with that role. And mm. I hear the makeup. Especially of guns now on the DC side. Right, right, exactly. He'll probably he'll probably move over <laughs> to the, the DC side. Um, Rocket. I think I don't, know if they, I don't know if they would kill off Rocket just because it's such an easy character to, to continue. Like it's just CGI and a voice actor. Like you don't really mm-hmm. have to worry about. Um, I get that, you know. but I get the vibe that that's the character that we're seeing in the trailer that could be dead. I mean, the way the trailer looked. I mean, I, I think Rocket could survives. I think Rocket, Groot, Gamora. Crap, I think I think Star Lord's actually in danger for sure, oh. and um, and uh, Gamora. Oh. Hmm. Okay. No, uh, they've already she, she, again. Well, yeah, she I mean, did. Um, she did a interview recently where she was talking about how, like, the last decade of her acting career has basically been Guardians and Avatar, and she kind of, I guess, wants to move back to maybe like single film things or whatever like that. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if that again, if that was just to cover up or whatever. But like, I read that interview because of the Avatar thing. I was like, hmm, interesting. So yeah. Well, I mean, it could be her and Star Lord dying together. It or just looks, you know uh, they don't have to die they could just fly off into the sunset right. you just fly off into the sunset yeah exactly. that's what it could be i mean it looked interesting it's the first trailer so we'll see how it goes um the trailers look good yeah. i thought in terms oh, of did. the yeah. cgi the music yeah, i'm very you know. curious about yeah warlock and what his role is going to play yeah. how he's going to play in this so yeah cool right. it looks Let's, good uh transformers be, uh what's it called beast um rise of the beast rise of the beast i was gonna I almost call it beast wars I'm like it's not beast wars uh but it is based on beast wars um so that's an optimus primal is, is he actually optimus primal in this movie well that is optimus primal those are two actually different characters in the universe slash lore oh i mean if you <laughs> I'll, I'll put on the the transformers lore hat for a moment so beast wars happens thousands or millennia into the future yep Optimus Primal is a character that just took his namesake from Optimus Prime as like a sign of uh, trying to like rally right. people under the yeah. the, na- the banner and stuff like that. Uh, so it is a completely different character and stuff like that. So I don't know what's going on with this trailer because it was supposed to be a sequel to Bumblebee, but it might be a quasi sequel. Yeah, I, I, don't I didn't know. get anything. They're so about dodgy on it. Yeah. They're so dodgy about. It. I'm like, guys, you gotta like pick at this point like there the movie's so coming many, out there were so many fragments posts. a little bit yeah. here there were so style. many posts about like please make this be a sequel to the book i want to see this character i want to see right. this. i was like holy shit there's a lot of love for that movie so and it was a great movie that was a oh, great yeah, movie was great yeah. so and uh, they need to build off of that without a doubt um yeah so i don't know uh cgi looked a little rough um but like i had posted in the discord if you join you can uh, get all that uh, insider information but apparently the cgi studio is like a little rocky right now and stuff like that but yeah hopefully you can get another cleanup crew and fix it by june uh okay. release date but uh you know big robots big explosions you know that yeah. stuff great uh and Easy then popcorn. the la- that looks that's what that's what i got from the trailer so i'm excited for this movie uh plus i was a big fan of the beast wars show um yeah, yeah. i love the uh, I thought the, the thing, animals looked great, the robot the, animals. The thing I, you know what I loved about the Beast Wars show? My favorite part was the fact they couldn't stay as Transformers, like in their actual robot forms. Right, um, the whole time, yeah. Because, because of the Energon. The environment, um, yeah. I, I, like, I hope that has some sort of play in this. Like, I mm-hmm. really would like to see that. Um, yeah, so, same. You know, that was like a big draw for me in that show. I liked like, the time limit, you know what I mean? Um, yep. So, all right. Uh, the last trailer we got uh, was Indian, Indiana Jones 5. Um I gotta say, uh, it looked fun, but damn, Harrison Ford's getting old. That's that was my whole thing. I could not get it down. My, I was like, dude, you are old. Like, yeah. You're old. I think you like, guys I, got got the numbers stuck in your head. If you didn't know he was eighty years old, you'd think he's like sixty. Watching, I get no, you. I would not. No, he I looks get, way older. Than no, I mean, I got him. I got him in mid. I got him mid sixties. I got him mid sixties as well. I but even at mid sixties, I think he's, it's getting. No, old. man, he he looks older than Sean Connery did in. Raiders, which he is. Yeah, he is. Yeah. And which, oh, Connery, 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 was, Connery was Connery was like twelve years older than him. <laughs> I'm not sure. But... I'm just saying he looks he looks old in this. He looks like he should not be doing the things that he's doing. I feel like he's gonna break a hip at any it second. Looks, yeah, exactly. It looks silly. It's it's a guys are ages oh, yeah. ageist as fuck. No, uh, but they're not wrong. You in there, man. They're not I, wrong. What are you talking about? The, the whip no, scene. I, I think the whip scene was the worst because I'm just like he can't move. There's no well. way you can do that. Yeah, 
He can't no move way. well. So they fucking broke his hand on the Millennium Falcon during fucking the Force it, Awakens, and which it wasn't closed. Movie. A door closed on him. Yeah. Okay. And what? He's supposed to swing a whip around and not hurt himself? Get out of here. So, so the Get door closed on him because he's uh, old. I'm just the thing with <laughs> well, this. That's is... how fragile he is, and he's I, supposed to be swinging around. Fragile. A whip? I don't the care about the character. At this drives age. planes. Oh, wait, 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 Corey. Let me, <laughs> I'm gonna stop. Let me stop you right there. Now that flies. I planes, disagree yes. with Corey. No, I agree. I disagree with that, Corey. I do what, think. What, 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 I said I don't care about this character at this age. He should be retired and living yes, like, a peaceful I, life. Like, like look. Look, one million percent. I don't I, need to see him go on an adventure. Let his kids, his grandkids, do stuff. Like I don't need to see the, Indiana Jones. I think we get a passing of the torch in this movie finally, because I do think there will be. That was the last people. one. The last one was supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was, it was, it was, it was a shit movie. Up. Yeah, it was a shit Shia movie. Is, they took is a, not the new Indiana Jones. So. They took a, here we go. Be better. They took a mulligan. They took a mulligan on that movie. Did you just think this is gonna be better than the last movie? Yes, I so. absolutely. I, I I would stake a lot that it would be better than Crystal Skull. Yes. Yeah. Name is. Worse. I don't know why. I, I honestly, do you have anything like based on reality of why it would be better this time? Lessons. Because I saw Crystal Skull and it was stupid. Lessons learned as well. I hope. I hope people yes. learn. Hope Absolutely. People learn. They're not. Gonna, you're not going to get a Crystal Skull level, you know, piece of shit from oh. this. Uh, I hope so, but I, agree I, mean, I hope not. Rather, and, but... and like, look, man, like I it sounds like some opium here. <laughs> I, I really like Indiana Jones, and no. who and who can you see playing Indiana Jones besides Harrison Ford? I don't care. I don't, don't need, care. Don't I don't care. care. But I want more. Retire the I want, no, no, no. I want more Indian, Indiana Jones. Get, get want... young Indiana Jones recast as a young yeah. actor. That's fine. That's, do it. Yeah, we could do Indiana Jones in the hip replacement. Who's the um? Or, who's the guy that played him in in Solo? No, oh, fuck I don't that care. guy. I don't <laughs> fucking care. I don't want young Indiana. Just fucking make a new character. So, all right. It's Indiana Jones. It's called so Indiana much. Jones. I mean, so much. Not, we've had our fun with. I'm Indiana. all for this. I I like older characters. I mean, everyone's supposed to fuck off for the whole second half of their life. I guess. Yeah. You know, once they hit forty, yeah. they just you know <laughs> no, give her them all I, away. But I don't. No, 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 <laughs> I yeah, guess, like, you guys are acting like four movies. can do things. You guys are acting like four movies across forty years is like some sacred cow. We can never, there can never be another Indiana Jones. Yeah, it's Harrison Ford. No, I do, I do think that. What does that mean? Be, yeah, I okay, do... who cares? Lots of people care. That's why this movie is coming out. That's yeah, why I mean, people that's even watch the other ones. Yeah, I guess we'll see. I, I, I guess we'll yeah. see. I mean, I can always, I always thought. Old. Old. That's yes, yeah. good for him. It's life affirming. It's good for him. I'm just saying, I don't need it. I don't care. I always felt like this could have been I a I'm franchise. Doing that stuff when I'm 80. I always felt Indiana Jones could have been a franchise like James Bond. Yeah, absolutely. If they had recast. Yeah, and I do agree. But then also, like, you could have had movies that happened 20 years ago. This should have had sequels a long time ago. They missed their boat. Like sure. they really did. Um, sure. But I do want Indiana Jones. Like I hope it's good. I really do. Um, yeah, it looks fun. So yeah, take that hopium, Jim. Take that hopium. No, but but okay. seriously though, like all these uh, characters, you it's. I think it's more interesting to see what happens when they're older because you don't see that everyone they get killed off for no good reason. No one lives out a full life. Now we see what happens when a character lives out a full life. Yeah. And later in their life, and what do they do? There's, they're they they're just going to be doing else. the same thing they did in the other movies. That's what we're going to get. We're going to get like a Force Awakens thing here. We're just going to retread the old shit. I got a whip. Oh, look at this. I'm on the other yeah. end of the gunfight now. Yeah, they, 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 the whole joke. It's like, oh my God, what are we yeah. doing here? Yeah. Oh, it's, uh, all right. All right. If it's actually what you're saying, Mike, then sure. But that's not what's happening here. It's just going to be a retread because people want the nostalgia hits. That's why I don't want it. Yep. I don't oh, care. Yep. Yep. God forbid if Indiana dies. It's just hate old oh people. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> people are going to be upset. Can't kill him. Can't 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 do a Luke Skywalker. Can't kill him. He's going to find the Fountain of Youth and then recast him. <laughs> or he'll sell his rights to his like likeness like a deep James Earl Jones or something. Well, so I think, I think he's complete, Harrison Ford is completely for the CGI de-aging. All right, do it. Fine. Can we get a movie like that? An entire movie with him de-aged? <clears throat> Dude, I just, I don't care. Point. I wouldn't watch it either way. So, okay. Have right, fair enough. Have your Indiana Jones, Jim. Fair have enough. your Indiana Jones for the rest of your life. Once every. I mean, day. I, uh, I, I like Indiana Jones, but I honestly haven't watched all the movies. 
<laughs> all right then you're uh why are you here <laughs> you watched the worst one why, of them why are you here yeah i mean that's like because i like harrison ford I, and i i, I, I mean like you watch crystal skull and you didn't you've never seen the other three like which one i you saw seen? i saw oh, most Raiders. you had to have seen Raiders. I've so, no, I've, I haven't really seen all of it. I've seen parts of it. I've seen parts of all of them, but I've only and I've only watched the last hour of uh, Last Crusade like right, so a bunch of times. I badly want to start a movie club, and uh, I, I think I think I got to get you guys in this thing. We we got I've I've talked about this multiple times. We might have to get together and watch Raiders of the Lost Ark to start the movie club or something. I I don't know. Like I just feel like I don't know. It just it's crazy. I've but, seen it so many times. I know. Just want to watch my, it. Like, just, the idea it, it's, of the it's movie the same as with this. Blade Runner for me. It took me a long time to get to Blade Runner, and I watched it, Maybe and then I watched. It was a fun movie. Blade Runner is depressing. <laughs> it's so slow. Yeah, it's fine. So, I right. I, I didn't even find it that slow. I liked right. it. So you're really Indiana thing. Jones. You're a Harrison Ford fan, but in 30 yes. years, you haven't managed to watch the first two Indiana Jones movies. Completion. Yes. I mean, I, you could no. skip. Yes. You could skip Temple of Doom. Like you could skip I'm, Temple I'm, of Doom. I'm really, I'm really more of a Han Solo fan Dr. than Jones. Indiana Jones. Yeah, I love I'm, Temple of Doom. But... Unlike him. Yeah, I, I love. No, Temple I've of seen Doom, parts but... of it. I, I remember, you know, it being on TV as a kid. I remember the heart getting ripped out and being scared by that I, mm. and uh, all that stuff. I've seen a bit of them. I just don't know, you know, the yeah. actual plotting of the first two movies. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's come. That, on that note, guys, uh, we're out of trailers to talk about, so that's going to wrap up this episode of the MovieCast. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, we are once again live, in, live tr- streaming on Twitch starting at 8 o'clock Tuesday nights. We are on YouTube the following day, so please hit that subscribe button to either channel. Usually, if you don't watch us live, though, head on over to YouTube. It's better. You can see it whenever you want. All of our stuff is over there, actually, content-wise, most of it. Um, back to episode, like, 200. So you go way back. Uh, we are streaming on Spotify. We are streaming on iTunes as well for the audio versions of this podcast. You can check us out there. Uh, that's going to wrap it up for the week. Uh, we're going on Gamecast next, though, so check that out. Movies are done. We'll see you guys soon. We are out.